Cyrax has always had an insatiable appetite for fame. But the motivation isn't money, cars or women. The motivation is rubbing it in the face of everyone who ever doubted him. The motivation is revenge. Born with several health complications at the dawn of the 90s, Cyrax, real name Chance Wilkins, didn't have the best start. His dad, Rumpel Smith, was jailed when he was a baby. His mother, unable to cope, had him taken from her care, so his grandmother Sally became his legal guardian. Due to his appearance and small stature, Cyrax was a target for bullies throughout his school years. This caused him to have a lot of pent-up anger and hatred against the world. Constantly bullied. I was constantly, you know, put down, you know, just beat up and all kinds of stuff. And even through high school, I was still that same kid that had to fight all the time. In 2009, he opened his first YouTube account under the name of DJ Shadowblade, where he would post a variety of content from music to movie trailers. Hey y'all, this is your boy DJ Shadowblade here with the Shadowblade Productions behind the scenes and behind my music. This is actually the first episode, so kind of come here, prank, please. For the next couple of years he focused on music and met Eric Scrubolo, also a musician. Eric signed Cyrax to the label out of pity. <laughs> 2013 was a busy year for Cyrax, finally leaving school at the age of 23, meeting his first girlfriend Heather, as well as getting arrested for strangling his grandmother in an argument before starting a rift with Eric Scrubolo at the music label, with Cyrax throwing the company dog tags into a lake. He immediately regretted it and posted this apology with his girlfriend. Listen, I know you're pretty upset about the whole dog tag thing and whatnot. Well, when we did the whole thing with the dog tags, it's because we were pissed off. We didn't know what the hell to do. We were... Yeah. We were seriously just, we were only doing like my mom wanted us to do. She came up with the idea to throw them into the lake and at the time it seemed like a good idea. And honestly, we regret it, man. 2017 brought a new girlfriend, Abby. After a failed suicide attempt, she was left with a hook for a hand. Cyrix was also entering his creative zenith, releasing multiple songs in a bid to attract the big record labels. Twenty eighteen rolled around and Cyrax was still chasing the big music contract. His life had stagnated until a certain troll called Marty came along, causing an upheaval in Cyrax's fragile world, changing his life forever. Marty's first act of trolling was creating fake music labels, whom would then both compete for Cyrax's signature. After the Bender Boys were successful in signing him, Cyrax came on stream to celebrate, decked out in leather jacket and sunglasses, and having all the swagger of a fully fledged rock star. What up, y'all? It's your boy Cyrax in the house. Over at Bender Boys Records. Shout out to the big homie CPN, Child's Play Ninja. I figured I'd just come in, kick it with y'all, figured since I'm making it big time, may as well rock the swagger to go with it, boys. Shout out to the Bender boys. What's good, bro? Shout out to BBR. I figured I'd come in, celebrate, kick it, chill. Got a brand new dope-ass track dropping with some of the homies. I figured your boy may as well drop in. Say what's up. Yeah, y'all little bitch ass haters didn't think I could dress up, did you? Echo Side Entertainment on this song.
You want to know why? I rep all those labels that got me to where I am. Whether it's Killer Clown Sounds, whether it's Bloodshot Records, whether it's Echo Side Entertainment, or whether it's my current label, Bender Boys Entertainment. Those labels and those day ones are the guys that got me to where I'm at. So if y'all bitches want to step to the best, you're looking at them, boys. And then it all came crashing down. It seemed to you unmanageable. How? And then, uh... We had, to sell, your, we had to sell your contract, man. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Are you kidding? No, dude. We sold you're it this morning. Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, the video didn't perform as well as we thought it was going what to. What the fuck, dude? Are you fucking serious? I put in all that hard work for nothing? Are you serious right now? Well, we, 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 sold, serious? we sold the contract. Bro, you're fucking stupid! After losing the fake record deal, Cyrax had to deal with some very real allegations. Candle Smith met Cyrax in an online chat room. Cyrax developed feelings for her, to which she rejected. He did not take this well and ended up doxing her, calling her landlord, leaving innumerable amounts of emails, voicemails, and texts. I got something to address to all those mothers out there. Yeah, you too. All you mothers out there that have young, young children, be warned of this guy named Chance Wilkins. He'll jack off on your children. Not only that, he'll sit there and jack off on video chat with them. He'll sit there and threaten to kill your children if they don't sleep with him. They will do whatever they can. He will literally hurt you. This man is psychotic. He's dangerous. Women, be warned. His name is Chance Wilkins. I don't care how you got my address, but little boy, you better learn. You ain't getting here. You come to my damn town. You come to my house. You're leaving in either handcuffs and a cop car. Whether they be my own handcuffs or the cops. Cause you little bitch boy, you need to fucking back the fuck up. Cause you know what I gotta say to you little punk ass, fake ass, juggalo bitch boy ass? Sit on it and spin on it. This ended with her faking her own death to escape him. Try me. Things continued to escalate between Marty and Cyrax. I'm done playing these games. We can get dangerous, bitch. With Cyrax being shot at while on stream. Sir, when I never even met What the fuck was that? I know y'all heard that. Whoever shot that at my fucking house. I'm telling you this right now. You made your last fucking goddamn mistake. Marty also bought a cameo from the To Catch a Predator host, Chris Hansen, to troll Cyrax. Chance Wilkins. Hmm. What does that name sound so suspiciously familiar? Maybe because your screen name is Cyrex? What do you mean by Cyrex? Hmm. Chance. Chris Hansen here of Hansen vs. Predators. To catch a predator and have a seat with Chris Hansen, I'm going to need you to have a seat right over there. I've been going through some transcripts and I see some disturbing things online. You don't want to be the target of one of my investigations, Chance. Cut it out. Clean it up. Behave yourself. Cyrax, thinking it was legitimate, made this response. Yeah, what up, y'all? This is my response to Chris Hansen, who apparently made a video about me yesterday, which I did see. And Chris, I'm here to tell you the truth. Um, these people are setting me up. They have been watching me for many, many years, apparently. And they're doing all this to troll me, to have me put in jail behind bars, for no, literally no reason but to troll me. That's all it is. Um, if you'd like to know more about my story, please, you know, comment on this video. 2019 came and brought yet another girlfriend, Heather K. This relationship was volatile, to say the least. Oh, oh, man. Man. Shut the fuck up, both of y'all, for five fucking no. minutes. Hush! Hit me.
Hit me and I'm gonna fucking knock your life. About that, because at the end of the motherfucking day, bitch. But Heather ended up passing away suddenly. Cyrax put on a memorial show in her honor. I want you to hold me close because there is no sign. Two more women entered Cyrax's life. Both became his girlfriends. Both were trolls. Set up by Marty, these two women, Strawberry Sunshine and Tangerine Cat, Catfish Cyrax. Then when Cyrax was found out to be sexting a mentally ill underage trans person, Marty got them all on stream so Cyrax could apologise. Only for him to then drop the bomb on Cyrax. Really quickly, I'm sorry. Have you recently sent a picture of your penis to a disabled, like, slash retarded transgender person? No. Cindy <laughs> Blue ring a bell, Cyrax? Marty, you and I both know that Tyler does like to break into my stuff. You know this. The amazing thing to me was when he was confronted, Cyrax, for 40 seconds, went dead quiet. For the first time that I've ever seen, Cyrax, Cindy Blue ring a bell, Cyrax? And just look at it, just look at the wheels start turning in his head here. So if there are voice recordings of you with this person, they don't, they don't exist, Cyrax? I talked to her on the phone for like two minutes, and that was it. But it was and nothing. You sent your penis it to this person. Nothing, it was nothing sexual, Marty. Okay, and you doing this hacking crap? That's gonna end you up in prison. It might but, not be a year from now or whatever, but eventually you will go to prison. Wait, when 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 was this supposed to have happened? Let me get the screenshots. Utter panic. Utter fucking panic. Let me get let me you know, I can actually have Cindy Lou come up here and tell her side of the like, story, Let's have Cindy Lou on. That'll that'll sort it out. Right. Rex had absolutely nothing to say for himself. Oh, he was when you were together, he was two timing you with lava and other women as well. Wait, I thought What? Correct. He is a two-timer, or a three-timer, or a four-timer. Where did he, there he go? Goes. There he goes. There he goes. Because he knows that he's been sending his penis picture to a disabled, uh, transgendered person. After being found out, Cyrax held a pen to his throat, pretending it's a knife. His grandma tried to calm him from the doorway. Oh, there he is! Marty, do you want me to end my life? No! Do you want me to end my life? Enough is enough. You need to quit sexting. Retarded people. It's me, Marty. I'll tell. I'll tell you later. Who's that? <laughs> Marty, I'm telling you right now. You need to fucking quit. Did you wanna know what you do to me every day? This is what you make me want to do every fucking day because of what you fucking do to me. This is what you put me through. Can't. Can't stop it. This is what you put me through, Marty. Don't shut the door, Sally. Come in. This is what you do to me, Marty, every day. You sent a penis to a retarded person. All I asked was for you to stop. You had phone sex with a retard. Let it go, Marty. That's old. Quit this now. It was, it was, it was three days ago. Quit it, Marty. It was three days ago. Put the knife down, Cyrus, please. Yes, come on now. Yes. No. I'm a Yep, no. put it down. Put it Thanks. down. No. Sorry, you're gonna get 5150, dude. Put it down. I mean, you're. you're... You need oh. to stop, Marty. Put the knife down, Cyrax. It's not a knife, it's a fucking thing, but Marty, this is what you do to me every day. Wait, what, what is it, baby? A pen? It's the fucking pen that I use, but Marty, <laughs> dude, this is what you fucking do to me every day, and you think it's a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke, Marty. All because he got caught sending his penis to a retard girl. Marty then made a couple of impromptu visits to Cyrax's area. This message is intended for one specific audience. And that person would be you, Chance Wilkins. You sit there, playing your goddamn video games all goddamn day. Screaming like a fucking maniac and overall making their lives a living hell. You have toiled away endlessly in your own wake 
for the better part of 11 years, getting absolutely nowhere. And the truth is, you simply don't have any talent or any artistic ability, and the only marketable or worthwhile or watchable feature that you have is abject mental illness. You are deluded, demented, and deranged. I'm here for an intervention. Marty was getting closer, and it was making Cyrax nervous. I mean, his lights are off in his room, which is, has to be atypical. But I definitely... Did you see that light flicker? Yeah. I caught wind that you're planning on moving in on my fucking street in my fucking territory. And let me tell you right now, Marty, you moving on this street is an act of war. So my advice to you, stay off my street, or if you do move here, I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to hurt you. Because you moving here is an act of war. It all culminated one evening when Marty booked an Airbnb round the corner from Cyrax, telling him if he doesn't like it to come fight him. And to everyone's surprise, Cyrax showed up. Hold on, Cyrax! Hold on! God, don't you answer the theater. Come on. Come on. Oh. Why? Stupid motherfucker. Uh. Why would you leave me alone, boy? Why would you learn? I love you. Love you. Bitch! Get the fuck out of here. Who's the king? You are? Then run away now. You shut the fuck up. Fine. You, you win. win. You win. You win. Please let me go. I'm begging you. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Get up. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Bitch. Cyrax lost the fight, then limped away in defeat. Yeah, he's bleeding. <laughs> yeah, he's bleeding pretty good. <laughs> uh, let me wash my hands really quickly. Your boy's still standing strong as ever. I'm still here. Yeah, Marty may have beat my ass. But who cares? I still showed up, bitch. Marty, How you Marty? doing? How you doing? Honestly, Marty, what you did, I don't know if you realize this, but you almost fucking killed me. I could have killed you. No, you almost did. There was no could have. You almost did. That means there yeah, are... Then, then you tried to punch me again from the ground. Because you wouldn't get off of me, you asshole. Well, you look like, you look like a rabid ferret. Marty, you learn anything tonight? That you're a fucking asshole and that you're the king of nothing. I can't even up. believe you're a real person. What, you surprised I'm still standing? In June 2023, the allegations finally caught up to Cyrax, being led away crying in handcuffs. That's it. Let it all out. Let it all out, Cyrax. I want to know why you did this to me. Because you're a child predator. He is not a predator. Okay, well, sell that to the evidence. That's do, do you have uh, anything? Actually, this is public. Oh, yeah, this is public. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just public. Go. Sir, sir, go. sir, will you, you, gotta go. you need to keep him away from me. You gotta go. You're going to go to jail too, Ed? You're going to go to jail too? This is public. Don't make it worse. This is public. Not right here, right? Uh, this is a public no, sidewalk. This is sidewalk. Back up before you catch away. a charge too. When you scream for help. All the time, I just scream go for there. help. Sure, go yeah. I'm sorry that this happened. This is a trial one for when they arrest you for being a pedophile. The charges are unknown. He was out on bond soon after. And so the story of Cyrax continues.